Hi guys, TechJames here. In this video, I'll show you guys how to compress your PSP ISO games into CSO games. So you might want to do this if you've got some games that you want for a slightly smaller size, just so you can have more games on your PSP's memory stick. So the link is in the description. It will bring you to this mega um, download page. Basically, this is just the software that you use to convert the games. So just hit download and wait for it to download. It's a small file. Once it's downloaded, head over to your downloads folder. Then you want to just go to the zip file, do right click, then do extract here. It's then just going to give you the exe file and a readme file. You can just delete that. You can delete the zip file as well. So then you can just go ahead and run the ePSP um, compressor. You just want to hit next a few times and then just install it. Right, so once it's finished you can just untick view readme file and leave launch PSP ticked and then just click finish. Then it's just going to launch up the program. As you can see you've got tons of options down here. You can convert loads of different things. Um, the main one that I would probably use is ISO to CSO. That's just the most reliable and we know that both of those work on PSP fine. Um, up here you just want to choose your PSP ISO game, I've got mine in the download folder, I've just got Tekken 6, so you just want to select that and locate your downloads and just open it. So you can pretty much just leave everything the same, I'd probably leave it at the fastest speed. Um, you don't need to tick that audio thing, and now you can just go ahead and click compress. Right, so now it's just going to come up this command prompt style um, box. You just want to wait for it to load. Um, it shouldn't take too long, but just give it about five minutes. Once it's finished, you can just exit the program and you'll find your converted ISO or CSO in your downloads folder. So here's mine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect my PSP and then copy this across. You can right click, go to properties if you want to view the sizes of the files. Right guys, so you can now go ahead and connect your PSP to your PC, then transfer the CSO file across. So all CSO files are just copied to your PSP's ISO folder. Once that's copied across, I'm just going to show you guys um, the game on my PSP. Right guys, so back on my PSP, here it is, the game. Um, I've actually got two on here. Um, you can tell the difference because this one right here is um, seven mega, 700 megabytes where this one here was I think yeah 817 and this one was like 736 so let's just press X on it just start it up and just see if everything's the same so as you guys can see everything's the same the sound works and everything um, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.